Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about eDate function in Power BI DAX. First of all, eDate is a DAX function. It is going to give the output as a date time format. Third point is it is going to take date time as an input and month number as an input. It takes two parameters, two values as an input, and it is going to give you the date time as an output. So let me club all these three points and let me talk about that. It is a DAX function and it is going to return the date. It is going to return the date in the date time format based on the number of months before or after the start date. Let us say, so there was a date is defined in your uh, system. The date is January 2nd. Let us assume it January 2nd. 2nd uh, January. Okay. So you want the same date in the next month. It is nothing but a 2nd uh, February. Maybe year can be anything in the same way. Okay. Or you want the one month, you want to go back one month for the same date. 2nd December. Year is going to change here. It means that so if you want this kind of values in the power bi you need to go with a e date function it means that with the help of the e date you can go to the before or after the for the with the same date okay so e date is going to take two inputs first one is the date time format the second one is the number of months how many number of months you want to go ahead or you want to go back that many months you want to see that okay let me show you practically how to do that so just to show you practically let me load one basic table into the power bi desktop so that i can show you multiple scenarios so i'll just i'm just giving you uh, the uh, sql server and uh, database names here so that i can load one basic table and i can show you the practical example here let's take the employee table so here if you see this i have a joining date column let's go to load it's a very very small table it loads very quickly yes it's done now let's go to the data view see this is a table you have so i have a date column as joining date if you see this okay now let's go back to the topic e date so let's click on new column so i want to go to the next month same date okay so let me make it as a next date or next month date whatever it is here i'm going to write the logic e date of so joining date comma how many months i want to add to get the next one same date i need to add only one month let's close the parenthesis and enter it now if you see this the joining date is September 1st, 2017. Here it is October 1st, 2017. Next date. So if you want to go to the next month, same date, then you need to do this e date of the date column, comma, how many months you want to add. So you want to go back to the previous month of the same date. So then you need to simply change the one to minus one. It means that you are going to the previous date. So let me change the title or let me add one more column to the, let me add a new column for previous month date. Yes, there is a positive possible scenarios you will be getting in the real time. Previous month date or whatever the title you want, you can keep it. And e date of joining date, comma, minus one. Now you can see the date fields here. See here it is a September 1st, then it is a August 1st. Here it is a october 21st here it is a uh, september 21st this is how you want to this is how you need to implement if you want to go back to the same date in the multiple months so the first scenario is the next month date so month is going to change there is no change in the date actually okay here also there is a month is going to change there is no date uh, change maybe year may change based on the uh, uh, like a plus or minus uh, month symbols if you are working with a january or a december months then you are adding a plus one for uh, December, then you will be getting to the next year. You need to be very careful in understanding that. Next, so there might be a scenario you might be getting. 
so in this quarter i have a uh, let us say october 10 so you need to do the next quarter for the same uh, 10 date so that time how many months you need to add you need to add three months so instead of one or minus one you need to keep is three months it means that you will be getting the same date in the next quarter so if you want to work with a uh, semester same date in the next semester then you need to add six months if you want to go to the uh, same date in the next year you need to add it 12 months this is how my e date is going to work here so please be careful so when you are adding plus or minus one year you year is going to change based on the months change that's it about a e date function thank you for watching